3x lex back in the office let's do it all right guys welcome back uh the lex bill has arrived uh so today i'm going what i'm going to do is do the install on the uh of the sd card and the controller configurations to show you guys how to install this for the guys that don't know so basically when you order the lex bill you're going to get this basically what it is is the instruction pamphlet which is several pages long and you get the sd card of course so the instruction pamphlet is about um i don't know it seems to be about 10 pages or more of uh all important information how to configure a retro arch the aim track light guns the sending light guns and just all of the different configuration configuration questions you may have for this build for the Lex build is going to be in this instruction manual it's very detailed he's highlighted all of the important parts so when you get that you're going to get get this instruction manual that offers a lot of support so without further ado let's get to the install all right so for the install what you're going to be looking at is uh removing the sd card from the pi the Pi is going to be installed in the cabinet already. So what you want to do is lift up on the Pi, reach in there, lift up on the Pi slowly because it's going to be double-sided tape so it won't move around. So it's double-sided tape to the platform here inside. So what you need to do the very first time that you take the pie out, you need to lift up on it slowly until it breaks free and gives way. Once it does that and the double-sided tape has been broken that's holding it, it's going to be two wires to the left side which you're going to need to remove. And once you remove those, you can pull the pie out like this. The top two wires that you remove need to be reinserted here and here once you you uh it, insert the new car and you're ready to reinstall the pie so now that you got the pie out you want to take the sd card out from the front here just like just like this so right where this is at near the front at the bottom of the pie you turn the pie over and the SD card is going to be there. You can use the top of your fingernail. There's a tiny hump on the front of the SD card. You want to uh, put your finger there, apply a tiny bit of pressure, just a little bit, so in, in your fingernail, so you can get over that hump and just pull the SD card out gently so you don't break it. It's a small, thin wafer, and you have to be delicate. It should come out without any problems. So this one's been removed. This is my old 400. So to install the new one, you have to get it out of the pack. Which shouldn't be too difficult to do. Comes right out. So, this is the new 512 here. Pay attention to how the old one was inserted before you take it out so you'll know how the new one goes back in. Basically, when you insert it, it needs the, uh, the Samsung side needs to be, the word Samsung needs to be on the left side of the pie and the bridges and humps need to be on the right so that's pretty much how it looks and you need to just plug it right back in like the older ones were plugged in so once you push it in you just push it up all the way into uh it can't go any further without putting too much pressure on it but when you push it forward you'll feel it get to the point where it can't go any further and then it's installed at that point so from there all you pretty much need to do is put the pie back in the cabinet 
and then you can plug the two top wires that were installed on the Pi back into the into the slots that they were in originally, which are going to be here. Basically, you've taken out the HDMI wire and the power wire. So those are going to be the, the, the first two ports on the left-hand side of the Pi, which is going to be right here. Both of those have to be removed so you can pull the Pi out. It's, it's a couple different ways you can get to the Pi. You can get to the Pi from pulling up the control deck, but that's a lot of work. This is the easiest way to do it, hands down. And it's the way that you, it's the easiest way to do it and the best way to do it so you won't have to move as many wires and run into any issues. So also unplug your cabinet first before you do this. So once you got all of that out of the way and you got the new image plugged in, you're ready to rock and roll. So at this point, the only thing that needs to be done is you need to just put this back in the cabinet. You don't really have to re-double side tape it down because the, the uh, Pi isn't going to be moving inside the cab. But if you want to, you can. That's going to be up to you. But anyway, once you get the Pi back in, you plug it back up. Then at that point, you can uh, get ready to start up the cabinet for the first time. And now, once I get this hooked back up, I'll show you guys how to configure the control. So one second guys. All right. So with everything hooked back up, let's get ready to power up the cab for the first time. So just tilt it back to the wall. If you're using the 43 Retro Plus, it ain't light. It's not super heavy, but it's not a light cabinet. But um, shouldn't be too hard to rotate it in and out. I never had any issues. All right, so let's power this thing up for the first time.
All right, she's rocking and rolling. Okay, what you're going to be prompted with is the welcome screen and this lets you know you need to configure the controllers. So as you guys can see, it says welcome. Four game pads are detected. Hold a button on your device to configure it and you can press F4 to quit at any time. So we don't have a keyboard hooked up or anything because I want to show you guys just how to do it by using the controllers. So what we're going to do is controller one is right here. So you want to go to controller one on your cab. Now when you're ready to configure that controller, controller one on your cab, what you're going to do is you're gonna go to it and you're gonna press and hold A. After you do that, like, so for example, you get, you got six buttons on the Retro Plus. So the top left button is going to be A. Hold that down until it takes you to this configuring gamepad one screen. Once you get there, it's going to have you con configure the controller and the button. So for D-pad up, you press up. For D-pad down, you press down. For D-pad left, you press left. For D-pad right, you press right. For start, as we know, it, the setup is going to be the same as it was on, the, uh, on your older arcade gas build. So for start, you press start here. For select, you press select here, and then for what you're gonna do, how I set mine up, you can set yours up how you want, but how I do it is my A is gonna be my top left. I just go down top left, bottom left, uh, bottom, top, middle, bottom, middle, top right, bottom right. That's how I configure mine. So that's how I'm gonna configure mine. You can set yours up how you want though. So once you go through that, you don't need to worry about the left thumb or the right thumb or any of those because you don't have, you're out of buttons. So you don't need to worry about that. That's for if you want to set up an actual controller. So you don't need to worry about that. So all the, everything else after the main six buttons like the analog stuff, you can just skip through that. Just skip through those, you hold any buttons to skip. And then you're done.
Then they'll, they'll say you didn't choose a hotkey to enable button. This is required for exiting games with the controller. Do you want to use the select button default? Please answer yes to use select button or no to use a hotkey. How I usually do mine is uh, I just say yes to use the select button. That's how I usually do mine. Because it's basically asking you how do you want to do, do the exit. And they said it's required for exiting games. You can use the select button default or you can use set a hotkey. I just use the select button default, which is start, select, and back out. And bam, you're configured and ready to go, ready to rock. So, hey man, that's it. It pretty much maps across all four buttons. They're all gonna be set the same. So all four controllers are good to go. Hey man, 3X to the Lex out, and I'll be right back soon. Peace.